only because I kind of don't have time to do a raffle cast today. So I was like, you know what? I'm still going to give him the chance. But I kind of don't have time. So if you guys actually get it to 250, I'm going to be a little bit pissed. <laughs> All right, Valde, Lipa, I'm sorry, Sodomon starting here in Pipeline. So same spawn, uh, same spawn points here. Uh, from uh, the last game, Quaxi starting here up in control doing a 3-2 split. Oh my god. I hate seeing like a group of Craghive first. I hate seeing like a group of uh, of Skulks moving all in tandem. Oh boy! Mulk! Mulk is gonna see them all! Oh, and that's called. That's called. That's called. Look, these guys gotta go back. These guys gotta go back! They're gonna, they're gonna rush. Here they all come! I... Mulk should have called that. Valde taking down Arroyos. Valde taking down Mulk there with Drifter support. Valde taking down Kaseza. Fulgo taking down Nate. Fulgo the only one left. Oh, no. Oh, man. I think we all saw that from the beginning. Holy cow. Quaxi pushed it off. But that bought Sodomin a crap ton of time. Because they were able to assist right in the nano, get everything up. Tane now taking down Myers as he was walking out of control. And this really set Quaxi back in a big way. And now they're going to Observatory uh, that I can see the blueprint of. So they may go fast phase gates here to just get out on the map. Kaseisa now moving into topographical against three Skulks who make a jump at all. Oh! Adam goes down, and so does Fulgore to a Parasite. Oh, and now Topographical is done. Oh, my God. Can Quaxi recover from this? Can Quaxi recover from this? Kaseisa, Malga, and Myers now. Myers taking down Nate, but they lose one Marine in that. Um, Llama now on the ceiling. Uh, here in Topo, hidden just a bit. Oh, gets found by Myers. Whoa, hack. <laughs> All right, Tane taking down Fulgore here in West Junction. Mulk now um, alone here. Tane jumping out of the vents with, oh, my God, throws Mulk across the room. And now that extractor is going to go down pretty quickly considering that uh, that drifter is enzyming. Malga, Myers, and Kaseisa moving through the vents here in C12. That was a great um, setup in the beginning. I just have to say again from Sonomen, even though that, uh, I mean, even though they didn't win from that rush, look at the, look at the success uh, and look at the strong position they put themselves in just three minutes into this match by, uh, by denying, uh, by basically denying time, map control, and everything else, resources, all that stuff to Quaxi. Kaseisa and Myers now checking their corners, coming into Nano. We got a Marine on the other side. Most of uh, Sonman is in here. As Fulgor and Kaseisa come in here, Fulgor taking down Llama. Looks like they're still in here. Nate taking down Fulgor and Kaseisa is the only one left. Oh, pistols down Nate and Tane drops out from the vent and basically trips Kaseisa. And he's out of there. Malga now waiting for reinforcements here in East Junction. All right, and now we're seeing Valde and Lipa here in Skylights. Look at that, Lipa. He's going to set up. He's baiting. He's going to set up, and there we go. That's standard play right there. Let one of your skulks bite, and then the other one just hide in the corner. <coughs> Fulgo and, Fulgo and Myers, Skylights. And on the other side of the map, uh, we're seeing Nate as that, uh, as that lurk coming into Topo. And Kaseisa coming around the corner. So Nate is going to just throw some spikes down there. See, the alien vision ain't so bad. My eyes don't hurt. Wussies. <laughs> All right, Tane Lama now in there. Tane taking down that extractor. Kaseisa falling back just a bit. Gorge tunnel found here in West Junction. Why they put it out here in West Junction 
and not in Nano. Um, I haven't seen that strategy before, this or this placement before. But obviously, you can see why it's a, it's kind of crappy, <laughs> because Myers and Full Guard is like punishing it. But I'm sure Sonaman had their reasons for that. I mean, that could have given them great access right into skylights, really, if you think about it. System waypoint in uh, phase gate now going up. Myers, Mulk, Fulgo, Malga in here. Building up an armory now, and we're seeing that Casesa is here alone. Gets taken out by Nate, by their, uh, by their lurk, and now we're seeing Fulgo, Myers, uh, Fulgo, Myers, and uh, Mulk all coming right into Nano. And where's the rest of the team? I'm looking down at the map right now. I don't see anything. And here they come. Finally in here. Tane, Valde take down Fulgo and Myers. Oh, and Mulk goes down to the spikes. Look at that cleanup by Sonaman. But really, if you think about it, they got two shells down, and Quaxi has phase gates. <laughs> And there we go, going to turn this into a grind gate. Bam, out of there. Look at Sonaman's response and pack play. Look at their pack play. The, uh, Quaxi is rarely going up against just one of Sonaman. Rarely. So Nate now getting out of system waypointing. Running out through the vents, and we see here Mulk and Casesa waiting for another PG drop. Armor 1 now has started. Valde um, trying to take down this RT in Skylights. We're going to take the look here from, uh, from Malga. This is so annoying. Oh, man! Made it hard. Almost took it down. 26%. Good juking there. Full go now in topographical, taking out that harvester, and we're seeing a fight, a cleanup here by Sodman. They are just, they are just all over Quaxi. I think we can see a huge difference in Sodman's aliens alien play versus Quaxi. They look at the communication, look at the pack play that they're doing. Look at the four, uh, look at the Perez right now. Valde popping out as a fade already. Um, we got uh, Llama at 43. Tane is going fade as well. This is fantastic alien play by Sonaman. Quaxi doing their best against it, but I mean, they're just meeting packs and packs, and they, they barely have any upgrades. I mean, they have weapons one now. Armor one is coming. Let's take a look here from Myers as this attack happens in system waypointing. Sonaman wants them out of here. Oh, there's the drop for the phase gate. Oh, I believe actually they, yep, they have it already. Sorry, that was a drop for a robotics factory. Cargo now has been claimed. Again, system waypoint in a very strong location. They all, they've also set up a phase gate here uh, down in subsector. Tane and Nate on the north end of Nanogrid right now. And we're seeing Mulk here. Sodoman has to be extremely, extremely aggressive right now. They got to keep the pressure up. They cannot let Quaxi tech up. That's the biggest thing right now up against aliens. They cannot let them tech up. Tane now up against a Marine here in Topo. A couple shots. He's going in for the kill. 135 health does take down Mulk. I thought he was going to overcommit there for a second. Shotgun research now has started. Myers and Casesa holding wide junction. Nate coming through, peeking. Valde getting dropped to half health as he's got to skedaddle out of there. Arc's already out, and it's going to go right here because there is the, uh, the observatory blueprint. So they're going to arc Nano from West Junction. We're seeing now Mulk here taking down a whip here in topographical. And there is the Mac building. The power is up in West Junction now, put up by Malga. There's the scan, and here comes the first volley of this arc. Great move here by Quaxi. Holding system waypointing, letting the arcs do their job. Now Sonam's attention is going to be right here in Nano, or 
they're gonna end up biting our tees because when someone goes arcs, we heard Scram say it from Arkea a while ago, when you see arcs, you gotta wax his economy because arcs are expensive. It's an expensive strategy. You work on their economy, take it down, and then you can biobomb these arcs. Now, I don't see Gorge upgrades. They all, Sodomans only at two biomass. Their harvesters are getting annihilated here in Nano. And back in the base, we are seeing... Nice job here by Sodoman. Doing a little bit of a counter push. I don't think any wins there. Nope, they took down... No, they didn't take down anything. That's actually a third IP that has been dropped. It's kind of a smart move by uh, by Quaxi dropping in, dropping in that one. Biomass three now has started, and it looks like Sonaman is is just gonna let uh, Nano go. I mean, there's really nothing they can do right now. There, there's two arcs right there that are just constantly firing because of that observatory that's allowing them to fire through the walls. Onos upgrades have started. That means that Llama is at 59. So he's going to be their only Onos that's close. So they have two phase. They haven't lost any uh, life forms yet. Seeing a little bit of a fight here down in subsector. Cargo now has finished. Sonoman down to just three uh, harvesters. So their economy has really taken a beating. Mulk now looks like he's going to go down by Nate from the spikes. Great job. Topographical is going to drop as well. They, oh man. Quaxi owns this side of the map. If Sonoman... If Sonoman wants to work on their economy, they need to start pressuring Skylights and Overlook. Take that down. But they're going to go ahead and take up, take Topographical. You can see them sisting uh, close to it. Kasesa now getting taken out here by a pack of Sonoman. No! Actually ends up living. Great job with that shotgun. As these guys blink in and blink out, they're actually going to leave him alone. So they're moving. We have uh, Llama as that Onos here in uh, in cargo. So now moving into system waypointing. Here they go. Onos in here. He's working on the phase gate. Uh, he looks a little confused. He looks a little confused. I don't know what they're doing right now. He's just running around. Oh, the phase gate has been recycled. They are conceding system waypointing. They have just conceded system waypointing because in they are moving into nano grid. It's a very good move. They're going to just recycle up system, move in the nano. They'll have nano grid PG. They'll have subsector PG, and they can basically still kind of hit straight down into cargo from nano. So Mulk Myers full go now moving right in here. And we're seeing Lipa on this. Mulk trying to get him off. He does. Oh, man. Nate almost getting caught. Look at that. Really low. And they're going to move up this phase gate. Nice armory wall being put up here. And now this Harvester in C12 is going to go down, sadly, because it didn't have any infestation. Look at this. Nice little armory walls. Tane is going to... Tane is... He's, uh... He's sneaking. He's sneaking. Shh. Uh-oh. Oh, and look at that. That's why you put an armory wall there. Valde taking down Fulgore. Myers going down. This may be a short win for Quaxi if Sonoman allows this. Look at this. Lava getting caught on both sides by the armory wall. This is fantastic. And that is going to allow them to phase through, but the armory is going to go down. Lava does not have any energy. I can see just by how fast he's attacking. Oh, wow, Sodomon ruining Quaxi's, uh, Quaxi's nanogrid base. Great job. They knew they needed to capitalize on this because the longer that Quaxi held on to these extractors, this is how you play an alien team, ladies and gentlemen. Nice job. And look at that pack play from Sodomon. Now, let's see if they can capitalize on this. They have a little mini win here. Can they hold it? Can they make it worthwhile? All this fighting, they need to take down this phase gate. Kasesa now comes through along with three of the Marines, and they get out of there. Great job not coming through one by one. There's another um, armory being dropped. And now they're going to work on system waypointing. They're going to try to get that down. Uh, he's not recycling that. He's just going to allow them to, uh, to kind of waste time on it. 
I mean, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Oh, and they, they repair everything up. Oh, so they, just like Quaxi in the last round, could not close the deal. Could not close it. I think right now they need to get into subsector and just rush subsector and just get that phase gate out of there. If they can get them out of sub and then cyst into there, they would have the bottom and the right side of the map, which would be really good map control. Another scan down by Arroyos. Quaxi doing amazingly well considering their start. Tane taking down Mulk. Fulgore, Ma Malga, and Myers in here. Oh, we get, might see a fade death. No, Tain still good. Still good, and they do push them away. Here they go. Oh, they taking Myers' head off. Oh, my God, and Malga, too, as they move right back into system waypointing. And we have Kasesa here in pipeline, forcing Hopsu in and out of the hive. So he's just being really annoying right now. Meanwhile, while that's happening, Llama and Nate... Lurk upgrades are up, I want to remind you, so that Lurk does have, um, does have, uh... <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> I had to take a drink of water there. Anyways, that Lurk does have Umbra. Llama, Valde, Nate, all in here. Great job here! In Nano Grid, look at that, Sodomon again capitalizing, takes the power out, and they are successful in taking that. But look, Quaxi relocates again to system waypointing. Holy cow. I don't know who's going to win here, guys. This has been a little bit nuts. As far as upgrades, weapons two, armor one, shotguns, nano shield four, uh, Quaxi. Lurk upgrades, Onos upgrades, and three shells down for Sodomon. They are still down to two harvesters. Let's take a look at this map. Look at this, six to five. Team resources, 698 to 551. So really close, actually. Uh, team kills, 31 to 66. Sonomen dominating in engagements. Now, can they turn that into a win? And look at that, insisted into nano. Sonomen actually might do this. Holy cow. Quaxi still doing an amazing job, though, considering their start. Oh, but look at this pack play, ruining. They are losing weapons like crazy. Shotguns all over the place. And now moving into system waypointing. That Umbra is paying off a hundredfold. Nate is such an awesome lurk. He is keeping everyone Umbra. We see Nano Shield on that phase gate. They know they can't lose this. They come through subsector and they're trying to get that down. They lose system waypointing. And now here comes the Sonam and Pain train into subsector. And it is not stopping. It is on the rails, heading towards this phase gate here in subsector. And they're going to turn that into a grind gate. Look at that. Umbra, Drifter support. And that is done. Quaxi loses most of their map control in less than one minute. Fantastic job, Sonam. Wow, they have not lost a single light form. And Kasesa, with all that being said, Kasesa still here in pipeline. <laughs> Finally, a fade comes down uh, to take him out. <laughs> okay, phase gate now going up in East Junction. Fulgo, Myers, Malga, and Malk. Drifter running right through, sees it. All right, so now they need to assist in the subsector, which that's what they're doing. Overlook is now going to go down. Nice armory wall right here in Nano. Tank coming right through. Llama getting stuck there because he's an Onos. Robotics factory going down. That armory goes down. That's going to give Llama a chance to go through. Look at that. He's got to be careful. There's no jetpacks for these Marines, so they can't chase him. Oh, no! Llama goes down. They did chase him down. Oh, Quaxi, you guys are just doing amazing against Sonoman right now. I think other teams, I mean, this would have been over already, but I have to say, guys, give him a clap. Quaxi is still in this game a little bit. <laughs> Here comes full go uh, into Nano Grid with Malk. 
And now he's getting completely annihilated there. We see Tane taking down his own teammate, Valde. I believe he took down a fade. Yes, Valde was a fade. And he just took down his own fade. <laughs> Good game, 33% uh, friendly fire. <laughs> Now Lipa is the other Onos on this field. 445 health, he's got to get out of there. He does have charge, so he gets out of there quite nicely. Um, this robotics factory is done, but if Quaxi, if, if Sonneman's smart, they're going to work on the subsector RT. Uh, they're going to work on Overlook. Myers, Fulgro, and Malaga here in East Junction now. What a game. Arc Factory now. Upgrade has started. They know this is happening. Now, so they're either going to attack this base. These are their options. Attack here in East Junction. Start or start, you know, biting RTs like crazy. Um, kill their economy. Kill Quaxi's economy. You do that, uh, and they're not going to be able to sustain an arc push. Now, I don't see any Gorge upgrades yet. Ball coming around the corner here on top of Graph. Go smacking Llama off this RT. So, you know, while in pipeline, I just want to point out that Casesa did take out a couple shells um, while uh, while he was down in pipeline. Those are being rebuilt right now. Once Spur is up, they went shift. Uh, they went shift uh, for their second hive. No other upgrades for Quaxi because Quaxi is spending all their money here on trying to take Nano out with an arc push. Um, and those are quite expensive. They're 15 each. I still don't see Gorge upgrades. Malkin Myers just holding on to East Junction while the Ark does their work. This Krag is not going to be able to outheal the damage, but um, definitely going to be able to uh, uh, to slow it down. Tain now blinking in, taking down Malga. Fulgore now alone and about to get his head taken off. Taken out by Spikes. We see that the topographical RT is down. The Overlook RT is down. They have taken subsector. This is what I was talking about. Sonman did exactly what I said. Take out all of Quaxi's economy, and they will not be able to afford and sustain this arc push and this arc strategy. Armor 2 is halfway done. 22 minutes into this game, I just want to point out. Sonman, Tane taking down Fulgo. Tane taking down Malga. Monk now and Myers here. With this arc, it looks like they're turning around. Llama, oh, takes Myers from behind. Gets taken out by Malk, but that was a surprise. Loses a shotgun there. Power now going down here in Skylights. Casesa trying his best to come through and save this power. Ends up doing that. And we're seeing that they've split these arcs. They're arcing, uh, they're arcing C12 and they're arcing uh, Nano. I've never kind of seen this. But they actually ended up taking down the Harvester here in East Junction. Okay. Three Spurs now have been completed. There's Lipa coming through with Nate as the Umbra support. Umbra so important. That is something I didn't see, by the way, over in Sunday when we were losing all those Onas, uh, Onai. I didn't see a lot of Umbra support. I didn't see a lot of Lurk support. I didn't see Lurk upgrades, actually, if I remember correctly. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... So now, the, here they are in East Junction, pushing up in here. They need to get this out. Ow, they are just taking Quaxi out all over the place. Look at that. And now, they are working on this phase gate. And that's what I'm talking about. Work on their economy and then take this out. They won't be able to rebuild this because they have no money. This is how you play aliens. Holy cow, Sodomon on fire against Quaxi, who's got a really strong marine team. Nothing to take away from them, guys. They are good, but Sodomon is just nailing it. Look at their pack play. Fulgo, Malga, and Myers now in this hallway. They do see the aliens are right around the corner. They jump Malga going through the vents, taking down Llama inside there, meeting him head on. And they have relocated back into system waypointing. 
<laughs> Quaxi trying their darndest to, to get some sort of map control and keep map control. But while they're trying to run around this map, they cannot rebuild as fast. If you notice, Sonoman was constantly rebuilding. And there we go. I think I just saw a good game. I think Quaxi just conceded. Did I see a good game? I saw, I saw a chat. Wait, hold on. Let me just see. No, I didn't. I didn't see a good game, sorry. That was a missed call by me, I saw something. But anyways, here they go into East Junction again, and this is it. I think if they lose it here, they could not rebuild. If they lose it here, it's over. Quaxi knows it, look at this map. Oh my god, no they're not! Quaxi, god, you guys are awesome! They're still fighting it out with three extractors here in System Wave, putting Lava coming around the corner, gonna get killed. And we're seeing Kaseza up against a Fade here. Full go going down. Tane almost getting got Life but coming around the corner and Kasesa is like, holy crap! You don't want to see that coming around the corner at you. And look at that. Working on the phase gate like he should. Mulk popping through. They have four. So the ref just let me know that they have four IPs. What? <laughs> they do have four IPs. So they have cut the cis chain here in system waypointing. They've cut it down in the subsector. Tain taking down Malk. Valde. Oh my god. If Sodman loses this, I will be like so surprised. But then I will be so happy for Quaxi because of their start. They were they had a crappy start. If they pull this off, holy cow, what a feather in their cap. Base gate still up here in system waypointing. Huge fight happening. I mean, you can see right now what a disadvantage is uh, when Quaxi, you know, doesn't have jetpacks. When they are. Oh, and there they go. There's the good game. They knew it. Quaxi. I mean, hats off to you guys. What an awesome game. Sonoman wins on this map. You guys played an awesome alien round. Quaxi. Mad props to you. Holy cow. Lesser, uh, I mean, other teams would have just been destroyed 20 minutes ago. What a game. That was probably one of the best games I have ever seen. Especially post the new patch. Sonoman, you guys were on fire. Quaxi, you played a solid round. Hats off to both of you. That was one of the best rounds I've casted.